My first exposure was the demo. Um, and I love the demo so much, I knew immediately I had to buy this game. But I was obsessed with landing on the moon. The demo had limited parts. And I was upset. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this alarm lied to me. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, still can't trust stuff. All right, all right. We can make this. We can make this work. It's all right. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> okay, we need to burn radially outwards here. We're clearly already in the moon's SOI. I don't know what this is thinking. Oh, of our exit here. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. See, that's what happens when I talk and do stuff at the same time. I do silly things like that. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I think I should be able to... Let's see if I can do this with just RCS. No, I'm going to need a little bit of a burn. We're just pushing this periapsis down, 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 down. There. And I can see I also need to come normally, anti-normally. Anti-normally. <laughs> oh no, it's not. It's positive normally. And by the way, if you don't know how this all works with the normal, like which way is positive normal and which way is anti-normal, it is your ever popular physics right hand rule. And with the right hand rule, Actually, I don't think I need to change anything. I think it's fine. Never mind. It's okay. I'm not going to change anything. But I'll, I will talk about the right hand rule. <laughs> so the right hand rule says that you hold your right hand. You have your fingers going in the direction in which your craft is going. So in this case, hold your right hand with your fingers going towards the left. And your, and your whole, all your digits splayed out. Uh, you'll be forced to turn your thumb towards the screen. So towards the screen is the positive normal vector. So our positive normal vector is going this way. Our anti-normal vector is going that way. That's how that works. Okay. Um, let's set up our capture and rendezvous. So we're going to add a maneuver right there. All right. And... I believe, let's get to this, if we, yeah, you can see again how this, I have to move the maneuver head just like a second or two until they jump, there they go, and now what I can do is play with this burn, can I do it all the way around one more time, I doubt it, but no, that was just dumb, so we're coming back. Facilitate a nice rendezvous. Right about, whoop, whoop, whoop. Helps to go the right direction. Use a little bit of mouse scrolling here. There we go, 0.3 kilometer separation. I won't worry about the inclination difference. We'll deal with the inclination difference as we match velocity with the station. Um, that will deal with the inclination at the same time. Mimis is so forgiving as far because its gravitational field is so low that it's not that big a deal. Okay, we got that burn coming up in 10 minutes. Uh, we got a maneuver. I got a feeling I blew by and then it made another maneuver for our exit. We're no longer... Oh, I'm still thinking that. So, okay, fine. <laughs> Let's uh, get to that burn. The 31 second burn. Is this still full thrust? Yeah. Change our view to free here. Close that. Doo -doo -doo. Run our maneuver executor as we come over the south pole and the camera is doing its little flipperoo thing me ding. Alarm not maneuver. Am I mixing up the word alarm maneuver? Probably. I mix up my words. Very got the camera changing. We got this spinning around. There's a lot of movement on the screen right now. What we want to do is pay attention to our closest approach here. There we go. 
Okay, 30 seconds to the burn, so we can time warp a little bit closer. All right. And then we can get rid of this uh, exit SOI, yeah, uh, maneuver, which is going to disappear anyway. Notice how it's updating the maneuver as we change our trajectory. That's pretty neat. I like that. updating the alarm. I keep saying maneuver, don't I? Updating the alarm as our trajectory is changing. But as soon as we have a capture, we don't have an exit SOI anymore. Uh-oh. Oh no! What the heck? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, isn't this a wonderful game? What happened there? We, uh, sorry, we just flat out crashed. So I'm going to rebring up the game again so you're gonna have to give me a minute to kind of boot back up the game I am very very sorry oh we are about to do the burn okay 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 whoa 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 sorry our uh go away sorry I'm just noticing our burns coming up right now so I'm gonna have to do this manually I don't have time to maybe I do nah now nah, let's just do it manually SAS on we are pointing in the right direction at least. We're coming up to our capture burn. That's where it happened. Okay, one, two, and go. Okay. Um, close. Can I delete this? It won't let me delete that. That's really bothering me. It's really bothering me because I don't want this to happen again, obviously. Where's my miss? Of course, that might have nothing to do with why we got the crash. Okay, it just disappeared that time. That's kind of like a nice behavior. I like that. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay. I just got it locked on retrograde now. I'm just burning. I'm watching this closest approach distance. That's really what the deal is. I think I overcooked it just a smidge, so we're going to use some RCS. We can get rid of the maneuver. Yeah. Bring that closest approach. 65 meters. Happy with that. Okay, we didn't... That was nice that we didn't fall back too far. Okay, so it might have been just a coincidence what caused that crash. We'll have to look at a log to find out. Uh, I do have a... Closest approach coming up in one hour, and yeah, well, give me um, a few minutes ahead of that. Okay, so we're going to be seeing our station in one hour and 53 minutes, so let's get there. Okay, no harm done. We're good. <laughs> Nope, something's buzzing by there. Got lots of stuff in orbit. A little faster. Okay, where is our station here? We should be getting pretty close to it. We're only under three minutes away. There it is. But our, our approach velocity is only 29 meters per second. So we are doing fine. Again, we're getting the camera twirl because we're coming over a pole. That's okay. Don't need this no more. Don't need this no more. All right, I don't like this camera twirly thing. And get ourselves quite a lot closer. The velocity difference isn't that much, and we're already down to a 65 meter closest approach. So let's get in within. There we go. Now we're going to get in within the render distance. All right, we're about a minute away. Start shaving off velocity here.
Whoa, whoa, whoa. I hit Z instead of X to cut the throttle. <laughs> no real harm done. And got carried away with my time warping again. But there's the station. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. So this station still has... Stop. <laughs> okay, I was a little reckless, but I think we're okay. We got this. Getting a little punchy here. Okay, uh, control from here. Let's dock right here. That one looks tempting. Okay, uh, and we shall move. Are we going anywhere near the right direction? I don't think we are. I think that looks a little more like the right direction. We'll slow ourselves down a little bit. Okay, and we will aim ourselves and line up these docking ports. So you can see they still have the pusher vehicles that took them out here because they still have quite a lot of fuel in them. And I'm using them to refuel our lander, which is just, I don't know, here I can show it to you. There's our little lander there. I've had that lander for a long time. I will work over, we'll retorque this a little bit. Um, it's been honestly a great little lander. I think I've only used it once, so. <laughs> but it's so small, it can be refueled a ton of times from the fuel that's left over in these things. Uh, and it can only it can bring two Kerbals down. So what we'll do is Jebediah will go down each time, and we will rotate the scientist through. Or maybe we'll bring an engineer along. I don't know. Well, why don't we get everybody down there to the surface over multiple landings? I think that's a good idea. There is a probe body on it, so we don't really need to have a pilot. As long as I don't break anything, I don't really need to have an engineer either. Okay, okay, this is under control now. Aim our camera to the front, change this to lock. I'm going to try and remember to do that every time, put the view on lock. I think that's good for docking. There we go. All right, looking good, looking good. Okay, I think we uh, need to come definitely this way, though. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Eventually we get things pointing in the right direction. And we see we got the lab module. The lab module with Kerbalism works a little bit different in that it doesn't do that extra science you get from stock. You know with stock you can take uh, science and... Um, sorry, I need to get a little closer. I'm going kind of slow. In the stock game with the lab module, it'll kind of like have an extra kind of science you can collect. This doesn't do that, but what it does allow you to do is to take samples, which in Kerbalism you would normally have to return to Kerbin. You can analyze those on site in the lab module, and then that changes them into transmittable science without you having to bring those samples back to Kerbin, which is going to be great for us right now. So we're just going to go up and down the Mimis. Get ourselves all kinds of science. Really start trying to open up some of the more nose nodes on that tech tree. Right now we're doing this. And again. Should be thinking about reaction wheels when I'm not. <laughs> but I think we got this, right? We got this, we got this, boink. Boink, come on, boink, there we go. Aim the camera and turn off those reaction wheels. Uh, toggle that torque. There we go. Okay, so there we are. We are at our station. Um, honestly, they might have just about as much room in their spaceship here as there is in the station. <laughs> but how much? This is some. Oh, they have 192 days worth of food. They have perpetual water. I have a water recycler running somewhere. 
and they have 241 days of oxygen and all the nitrogen they could ever need so we're going to be able to spend quite a bit of time here collecting all kinds of science but that is all going to have to be for the next stream